Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update February 25th, 2024. I'm now back in Vancouver and battling jet lag as I try to settle back into the old routine. What you're seeing here is the airport in Saigon. I will be showing clips from my journey back home throughout this video, clips from the various airports and from the airplane. This is episode 799 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. And because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Yongan Dream with Ouyang Nana and Jeremy Xu confirms its premiere date. Ski Into Love with Esther Yu and Ling Yi begins filming. Xiao Yao, an upcoming costume drama with Seven Tan and Neo Ho, begins filming as well. And Xiao Chan gives overstepping paparazzi and fans a piece of his mind after telling them nicely on Weibo not a couple of days ago. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. And we usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday. So we begin with dramas that are confirmed to premiere imminently. There's Yongan Dream, a costume drama starring Ouyang Nana and Jeremy Xu. It's confirmed a February 28th premiere. According to Baidu, Jeremy Xu stars as an imperial prosecutor in Yongan City. He has dreams of a mysterious woman who he later discovers is the daughter of the Minister of Works. Ouyang Nana stars as this mysterious woman. Her family falls into crisis when her father is thrown into prison. The two main characters connect and develop a relationship as they investigate the collapse of the West Canal. Young Dream is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Tencent. Then there's Pegasus, a modern drama starring Hu Xianxu and Wang Yanling. It's confirmed a February 28th premiere as well. According to Baidu, Wang Yanling stars as Zhang Chi, a race car driver who is seriously injured when he crashes on the track. His crash makes him travel back in time and into the body of 21-year-old Ling Zhendong, played by Hu Xianxu. While in there, he does everything to prevent his 24-year-old self from making the same mistakes again. Pegasus is slated for 28 episodes and will stream on Yuku. Lastly, there's Sunrise on the River, a modern drama starring Huang Zhezhong and Mei Ting. It's confirmed a February 29th premiere. According to Baidu, Huang Zhezhong stars as a university professor who is appointed director of the Environmental Protection Bureau of Qijiang City. He is tasked to solve the pollution problem in Qijiang River but finds many obstacles in his way. Sunrise on the River is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Mango TV. Before we get out of premiere dates, just to mention that Eternal Brotherhood is rumored to premiere soon. The drama hasn't announced anything yet, but this Weibo blogger has it as airing in late February, early March. And this other one has it as airing in late February. Both bloggers are usually quite reliable. Here is a photo of some of the main cast, Yang Xuwen, Liu Yuning, and Zhang Mingen, and the crew at their booting ceremony back in July 2021. They wrapped filming in August that year. I'll update again if and when something official gets announced. And that's it for premiere dates. Moving on, The White Olive Tree recently shared a rap video. The White Olive Tree wrapped on January 13th, but they haven't shared any traditional rap photos that we see so many dramas do. They did, however, on February 22nd, shared this, which they hashtagged as a rap video. The White Olive Tree is a modern drama which stars Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie. According to Baidu, in the drama, she is a reporter who encounters danger while on duty overseas. He is a demolition engineer who rescues her. They lose contact after they return to China, but reunite when a bomb explosion which happened in that overseas location causes a controversy back home. Chen Zhiyuan was just in the recently aired Sword and Fairy 4 with Xu Jingyi. Liang Jie, on the other hand, hasn't had a drama air since 2022. Her last was High Venus with Joseph Cheng. The White Olive Tree is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on IGE. From a rap, we go to a booting. Ski Into Love, starring Esther Yu and Ling Yi, recently started filming. I'd previously referred to the snowboarding-themed drama as Shh, The King is Hibernating, which is the name of the novel it's based on, but as recent posters have revealed, it's now officially Ski Into Love. The drama had been announced in December last year. On February 22nd, they shared a batch of photos from their booting ceremony. Here are Esther Yu and Ling Yi. 
Here is the entire cast and crew. Everyone's bundled up for the weather. Esther Yu last starred in the costume drama Sword and Fairy with Xu Kai. Whereas Ling Yi last starred in Derailment with Liu Haochun. The two had actually spent a bit of time on the slopes together while filming for the variety show Let's Go Skiing. This was more than a year ago, and netizens called it a prelude to this drama. According to Baidu, in the drama, Esther Yu is a comic artist who gets into a scandal. Depressed, she hits the ski slopes to get away. She meets Ling Yi, a coach and former snowboarder, and some mutual feelings develop. Ski Into Love is slated for 36 episodes and will stream on Yuku. They also have an Instagram page if you want to follow them there. Lastly now for drama updates, another booting. Xiao Yao, literally translated as Carefree, is an upcoming Xianxia drama starring 710 and Neo Ho. They announced themselves and shared a batch of photos from their booting ceremony yesterday. Here are the two stars with screenwriter and director Xu Jizhou, who also wrote and directed one of the top dramas of 2023, The Knockout. Carefree shared a short video to mark the occasion, and also to celebrate Lantern Festival, which traditionally marks the end of the Lunar New Year celebrations. According to Baidu, Seven Tan stars as the titular Xiao Yao, a carefree human girl who accidentally wanders into a cave where the Spirit King is sealed and awakens him. Neo Ho stars as this Spirit King, Hong Ye. Hundreds of years ago, Hong Ye was supposed to marry a human princess who looked exactly like Xiao Yao but was betrayed by her. Carefree is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on iQiyi. More updates on it as they provide them. And that's it for drama updates, celebrity updates now and today we begin with Xiao Chan, who was on his way to Milan for fashion week when he gave the paparazzi a piece of his mind. In fact, prior to the incident, the 32-year-old actor had touched on the issue of paparazzi and fans overstepping their boundaries. On February 20th, he reshared this message by his studio. It spoke to the issue of paparazzi and fans squatting at not just the sets of the actor's new show, but also at the hotel he's staying at. The problem was becoming quite serious. Entrances and exits were being blocked. Not only was work being interfered with, safety was being compromised. On his Weibo post, Xiao Chan urged folks to stop squatting. Quote, I wear the same clothes getting to and getting off work every day. Don't waste time watching me and disturbing public order. Respect others and respect yourselves. Unquote. Not a couple of days later, respect was out the door when Xiao Chan was mobbed by unrelenting paparazzi and fans at an airport in China. The hashtag Xiao Chan loudly calls for order at airport trended. Fans commented that it was the first time they'd seen Xiao Chan so angry. Reportedly, Xiao Chan had deliberately chosen an early flight and took the VIP channel to keep a low profile, but it was futile. His security team had to work hard to get the crowd to move, screaming for them to make way and to be careful, but it was falling on deaf ears. Eventually, when they neared an escalator, Xiao Chan, who was usually very mild-tempered, yelled at the mob, Don't you guys understand? Move forward! What are you guys doing? Can you maintain order? This actually brought about a moment of silence before he marched up the escalator. Xiao Chan eventually made it to Milan. Here he is in a much lighter mood, taking in the sights and sounds in the Italian city. And that's it for our celebrity updates. Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. According to analytics, more than half the views on this channel are from non-subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, give the channel a boost by subscribing and liking the video. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 212, February 25th, 2024. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. 
we begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, My Boss, the modern drama stars Chen Xingxu and Zhang Ronan. Number 9, The Last Immortal, the costume drama stars Zhao Lusi and Wang Anyu. Number 8, Sword and Fairy 4, the costume drama stars Xu Jingyi and Chen Zhiyuan. Number 7, The Happy Seven in Chang'an, the costume drama stars Ma Tianyu and Bu Guanjing. Number 6, White Cat Legend, the costume drama stars Ryan Ding and Zhou Qi. Number 5, Sweet Trap, the modern drama stars Xie Bingbing and Zhang Miaoyi. Number 4, The Hunter, the modern drama stars Zhang Songwen and Annabelle Yao. Number 3, Sword and Fairy, the costume drama stars Xu Kai and Esther Yu. Number 2, Fighting for Love, the costume drama stars Crystal Zhang and Zhang Haowei. And number 1, Country Love Season 16, the modern drama stars Zhao Benshan and Tang Jianjun. Country Love Season 16 is championed for a second week running, it garnered 463 points. And just FYI, The Hunter has been number 1 on the daily charts since it premiered on February 21st. Alright, next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Like a Flowing River Season 3, the modern drama stars Wang Kai and Yang Shuo. Number 9, Love and Dears, the modern drama stars Yang Zi and Fan Cheng Cheng. Number 8, A Soldier's Story, the retro drama stars Jiang Long and Shi Ci. Number 7, Blossoms Shanghai, the retro drama stars Hu Ge and Ma Yili. Number 6, Mi Xiaochuan's School Notes Season 2, the modern drama stars Jason Guo and Coco Chen. Number 5, Islands, the modern drama stars Xu Fan and Sandra Ma. Number 4, Amidst a Snowstorm of Love, the modern drama stars Liu Wu and Angel Zhao. Number 3, Growing Together, the modern drama stars Zhang Jiayi and Chen Hao. Number 2, Judge D's Mystery, the costume drama stars Zhou Yiwei and Claudia Wang. And number 1, Always on the Move, the retro drama stars Bai Jingting and Ding Yongtai. Always on the Move ends the week with 578 points, making it champion for a second week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week and I'll see you guys most likely Tuesday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.